Does your mind experience a sense of guilt? Let's see what beliefs make it do so. Whether guilt is instilled in you or your own mind enjoys playing with it, if you're serious about understanding yourself and the structure of reality, you'll have to discard this garbage. Otherwise, your subconscious will continue to hide from you much of what controls you. I will explain how to work with the subconscious and how to completely change your personality in detail in the next video. To begin with, you need to rid yourself of guilt and responsibility. It's simple to do if you're ready. Feeling guilty about your actions is logical if you had a choice. The question of the existence of choice is important in itself. The mind insists on choice, and there are reasons for that. Many things rely on the concept of choice, including personality itself. So let's check it. Let's see how you make your choice, how many factors accompany it, and how many of them you actually control. When we take action, we do so because we believe it's necessary or right. Sometimes we believe that we must do something. Also, let's consider that we act based on circumstances. And usually when doing something, we assume to achieve a certain result. Initially, we did not have any ideas about right and wrong. We were those very children of whom Jesus said, unless you become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. There are a couple of very interesting points here. The thing is, children are often aggressive, cruel, greedy, and stubborn. However, at the same time, they are innocent because they are free from judgments. Caring and loving parents have not yet fed them the fruit, the poison of which will poison the entire lives of these children, just as it poisoned the lives of their parents. Perhaps you know the story of how Adam and Eve ate the apples and what came of it, but did you pay attention to the name of the tree whose fruit they swallowed? Interestingly, that tree was not called the bad tree or the tree of evil. It was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The advertisement proclaimed you will become like gods, knowing good and evil. By consuming the fruit of that tree, Adam and Eve immediately lost paradise. Their paradise had always been within them, and they themselves destroyed it. Later, Jesus will point this out as well when asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come. He answered them, the kingdom of God will not come with observable signs, nor will people say, look, here it is or there it is, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So certainly we have some innate inclinations, temperament and character traits. Faced with circumstances, these inclinations manifest themselves. It's what you were born with, personal qualities. Of course, there's no question of choice here. Can these qualities be changed? Sure, if the set of these qualities allows for transformation, then it's up to the circumstances that should bring out these personal characteristics. These circumstances, just like the personal qualities themselves, don't wait for you to choose them. It's just what happens, or not. Next, we have notions about the world. These beliefs are determined by the beliefs and conclusions you have about the world that you have created or received, often at an early age, and which you now consider your own. Acting in accordance with these beliefs, you feel like you're doing the right thing. Do you know why? Because your brain simply projects a sense of approval and correctness onto your actions. The important thing here is that the brain holds the beliefs in the realm of the unconscious, simply sending you a sense of the rightness or wrongness of the action from there. By the way, this trick is constantly used by the brain and is one of the reasons we are convinced that there is someone inside our body. To feel guilt, you must believe that you could have acted differently in that situation, but could you? Yes, if it wasn't you, every action at every moment, like an instant photo, reflects the whole truth about you and the world at that particular moment in time. Did you choose authorities in childhood? Did you choose your parents? Did you choose the beliefs you were given? Did you choose the situations you found yourself in and drew conclusions about how this world operates as a result? Even if it seemed to you that you chose something from this, how did you make that choice? Someone's words resonated within you with a sense of correctness because they suited your character and personality type. Character isn't chosen. Did you choose what would seem right to you and what wouldn't? If you seriously check all of this and honestly answer these questions for yourself, it will change you and you will see this world differently. You'll see that the history of this world unfolds according to the only possible scenario. Since the Big Bang, every particle has followed a specific trajectory, met the particles it met, and avoided meeting all the others. It's destiny without any destiny. Your parents didn't choose which values to believe in and persuade you to believe in them. None of us chose the circumstances we encountered. The entire universe is responsible for every, even the smallest event. This is called totality. So don't blame anyone, neither yourself nor others. I'm not trying to convince you, just check. I'm writing this partly for myself as well so that next time I don't waste my time on any rubbish. I'll find these words and they'll resonate within me. That's my nature. 
Also surprisingly often people scold themselves when they get an unexpected result from their actions. Oh, how could I be such a fool? Why did I do that? But the person you were when you did that action didn't know what he knows now. The person who now knows the consequences of that action wouldn't do it again. However, these are actually two different people. All you can do in this situation is draw a conclusion. Also know that God doesn't judge. Not only because it's absolutely impossible to judge with all the fullness of knowledge, but also because you yourself are often a victim of your own actions. You're constantly struggling with life in yourself and you're very tired. All of this, of course, doesn't mean that behavior and personality and consequently your whole life cannot be completely changed. It can. And in the next chapter, I'll give you detailed instructions on how to do it.